Ethereum and ASCO 98.4 in bulls last year. I have mentored over 100 people to score 97 plus and over 1000 people to score 95 plus. So I'm the best person to help you on your journey. In today's video, we're going to be discussing if you need a reference book for the preparation or not. No, you do not need. 100% of the paper is going to be designed from the MCRT. If you want to know more about this, please check down this video. 100% of the paper is going to be designed from the MCRT. Then why do you need reference books? You don't. You can score well without actually going to reference books as well. But you can survive on one meal a day as well. But you eat three because it feels good, because it is actually beneficial. So let's talk about it. What are the pros and cons of having reference books? So the first pro of reference books is it actually provides you a clear path to score well. Well, you have the NCRT. Everything in this paper will be coming from the NCRT itself. Correct. But how do you know what to focus on in the NCRT? How do you know what to prepare from the NCRT? How do you know how to prepare from the NCRT? All of these things are covered by reference books only. They will give you a path. They have these things called chapter at a glance or web charts. They will show you what is needed to actually score well. What is needed in the NCRT which will be asked in the exam. If you use these web charts and chapter at a glance well, you will know what to focus in the NCRT because they will tell you what is important in the NCRT and you can then study well from the NCRT itself. The second pro is that these might contain questions that will be asked in your exams. Previous year questions, NCRT exemplars, competency based questions. These reference books will contain questions which are asked in your exam, have been asked in your exam previously as well. And these will may help you make your preparation better. The third thing is that you can revise more quickly and efficiently from this. You can make better notes by using reference books. Why? Because as I said, they will give you what is important in the NCRT and you can read it and make better notes with that. Along with that, you can also understand the language of questions and language of answers that have been asked in the exam and that has been written by toppers. This will give you a better idea of how to score better in the exam. First con of it, money. Look, we all know if you're on this video, most of you people do not find money a problem. Correct. But we can't trust any publisher, right? On the market. We can't trust any publisher on the market because they might be scamming you. They might not have good questions. They might not actually contain a chapter at a glance, which will give you important things in the NCRT. They might actually not help your preparation and take your money as well. So how do we know what is actually a good reference book in the market so that we can make our preparation better? Well, here is the card one shot books. They contain chapter at a glance and web charts, which will give you a clear cut path on what to focus on in the NCRT and how to make your preparation better. Along with that, they contain multiple questions from previous year questions and NCRT exemplar and especially a section for competency based questions, which are definitely going to be asked in the exam because for the last two, three years, the pattern of CBSC has tended to focus more on the competency based questions. These books are legit very good for making effective notes, for effective revision, for actually giving you a path on what to do in the NCRT to score better. But as I discussed, never make a reference book your top most priority instead of the NCRT. I said these books are better for revision purposes only and if you have to complete a full chapter, please refer to the NCRT by using the path given by these books. The link is in the description if you want to buy these and that's it for this video.